I'm Christy Ann Pratch and I am the Business Development Manager at Spell Stormwater for Bioretention Supply and also Maintenance. Today we're on site maintaining a client's bioretention system and I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about the reasons why we should be maintaining on a regular basis. When you turn up to site, this bioretention looks like it's absolutely flourishing and it's in great shape. However, what we have actually found while we've been on site is there's a mass of weeds that have sprouted as a result of the wet season and there's an increase in the amount of sediment that's in both uh, sediment fall bays. On site, we've removed the weeds. We've also um, removed a fair amount of the sediment from the sediment fall bay. So one of the reasons why we do like to maintain bioretention systems on a regular basis is uh, because the weeds that do establish within a bioretention have the potential to create a, a weed seed bank. And once those weed seeds drop and germinate, then they start to fight with the plants for some territory. Now, the plants that are chosen that go into a bioretention have been done so because of their ability to remove nitrogen and phosphorus. From a flood mitigation and pollution perspective, Fire retentions are a really great opportunity to provide extended detention during a rain event, which helps to slow down the flows of water going into our catchments. Uh, what you would like to see is within 24 hours of a rain event, a fire retention system would be completely drained and um, the plants are still functioning and flourishing and that they haven't been damaged from the rain event. Inspecting a bar retention should be completed at least three times a year. Uh, if there is a significant rainfall event, you really should be out checking to see whether or not there's been any damage to structures or plants or an increase in the amount of sediment in the sediment fall base. We like to get out to systems at least three times a year and just do a quick assessment to make sure that the plants are flourishing and there are no blockages in either the inlet or the outlet. In addition, the extended detention depth is something that needs to be monitored over the life cycle of a bioretention. Once we see the levels of the bioretention system increasing, we lose that extra capacity to hold rainfall in a significant rainfall event. Not only that, the buildup of sediment can actually impact the infiltration rate in the bioretention system. Thank you.